Hello there. This is another Chrome lesson. This time we're going to show how in Chrome you can watch Netflix. Now you can see on the screen that I have a Netflix um, browser instance. Pardon my computeries. I want to first show you the URL in case you ever have to type it yourself. And it's kind of instructional how I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to go down to the lower left here and I'm going to click on the blue a rectangle that says Google Docs and doing so opens up Google Docs as a browser tab. Now down here I already have a uh, Google Doc that's called Notes for YouTube's videos. And I'm clicking on it and at the moment it's simply blank but I'm going to paste into it what I had already copied which is the address uh, that you go to to get to Netflix on a computer or an iPad or an iPhone. And What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use the shift and the right arrow to highlight the whole thing and then I'm going to go and change the font size as soon as I find it. Here it is. So see I'm clicking here on font size and I'm making it a font size of 36 so that you can see it better. And maybe to make it even better I'm going to click down and make it a font size of 60. Oh, Control A to select and then font size 60. Well, that's a little big so I'll make the window a little bigger and now well I'm gonna to have to make the font a little smaller so you can see that we'll make it 48 no even that's too big 36 all right so there's the URL for Netflix so let's just hold that thought and continue what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, the Reindeer, which as some of us know is uh, Dashlane. And in Dashlane, I'm going to search for N-E-T, the first three letters of Netflix. And I'll even add the F and the L, so I have the first five letters of Netflix. And as you can see here, I have Netflix in my Dashlane, as I believe you do too. And I'm clicking on Netflix, click. And Netflix opens up, and best of all, Dashlane fills in the email address and the password of Dashlane. And notice how it says, remember me? And that's checked. That's a good thing. So I'm going to left click, and I'm going to sign into Netflix. And it says, page not found. Not to worry. This is how it is, but we can all figure these things out. There's a link here that says Netflix Home. So I'm going to click on Netflix Home. And you can see that it's it's working. Aha! Uh -huh. It knows me. And it says, who's watching? We have a profile for Elizabeth, for Uncle Don. Of course, Uncle Don is no longer with us. We have a profile for uh, Robert Jr. And in your case, what you would want to click is this button here that says Add Profile. And I'm going to click Add Profile, and it allows me to make a profile. So let's say I wanted to make a profile for Netflix for Netflix uh, titles, which my dad likes. Well, then I simply put D-A-D, -D, and then I, oh, and, and not a kid, and then I'd say continue. So now I have profiles for Elizabeth, Uncle Don, Robert Jr., and Dad. Now let's say that um, my dad's wife wants a profile. I'll click here on Add Profile, and then I'll put Liz. And I'll put in parenthesis, dad's wife, because my wife is called Elizabeth too. And I'll say continue. And now we have a profile for Liz, dad's wife, dad, Robert Jr., Uncle Don, and Elizabeth Glover. And this is important because when we eventually do go into Netflix, you can choose which profile you want to go under. So that, for example, dad will... Uh, be biased towards whatever my dad likes to see on Netflix and Liz they'll make suggestions for her and also keep track of what she's searched for okay enough of enough of that let's watch some uh, some Netflix let's say that I want to come in as Elizabeth so I just click the Elizabeth profile and look at this Netflix is showing all sorts of Netflix originals and new releases and trending now and watch it again and continue watching and frequently watched with search boxes you name it it's got it so let's just show you we're going to watch a youtube sorry a netflix video on the chromebook 
um, make this easy. Here's a Netflix original called The Defenders. So I think, well, may I might I might like that. So I'm just all I have to do is click on it, and it's going to start up. Oh, it says Netflix wants your device's identity to be verified by Google to determine eligibility for enhanced playback of protected content. Learn more. Well, obviously, I'm going to allow it. So if you're asked that, allow it. And now, in a, in a moment, we'll be watching Marvel's The Defenders Season 1, Episode 1, The H Word, right here on our Chromebook. And here it is. It's a Netflix. And here it comes. So uh, you see that by putting my cursor on the screen, I get some controls. I have the pause control. Um, I guess the fast forward. Oh, I even have subtitles. Look at this. I can turn on English subtitles. That sounds like fun. And I can see it's a 51 minute video and a... Look, you see the subtitles? Because I turned them on. Over here I could go into full screen mode. So I'm going to end the screencast here by first putting this uh, video on pause. Now notice up here in the upper left, you see this uh, left arrow? This is how you go back. So I click on this left arrow here, and it goes back to the main Netflix screen. So now if I wanted, I could click on some other Netflix video and watch it. Or I could even go up here to the search. You see how it says search here? And I could click on search, and I could search for something. For example, let's say that I wanted to see um, the movie Rocky. I would just type in Rocky. And uh, look at that. Here are all sorts of things that have Rocky in their title. For example, Rocky Hansen. So I'm going to end the YouTube lesson here by, uh, by closing the browser tab, the nuclear option, but I have no concern with that. And, uh, you know, I really should make a, a bookmark, shouldn't I? Well, another lesson. This is the end of this lesson.